All right, this week I have literally become unhinged. My name is Matt. Follow along as I turn Duracell, the legendary ocean racing sailboat, into a comfortable cruising home. One thing we need a lot of throughout the boat are hinges. One problem with building a boat with foam cord panels instead of plywood is foam does not grab a fastener very well. And so screwing a hinge into foam, uh, it will be, they, they'll fail pretty quickly. One way to fix that is I could through bolt them with backing plates or I could insert wooden inserts into the foam to, for the screw to grab onto. All these things are extra work and extra expense. One thing I really like to do is tinker and experiment and make little things. And so I, the other day I tried making hinges and I was relatively successful. All it is is a brass tube, 332 inch in outside diameter brass tube. And then there's a stainless steel pin that goes through it. It's a sixteenth of an inch. I uh, took some fiberglass tapes, went over the brass tube like that. So what it came out with was this long piece like this. And so then what I had to do was cut it into individual little sections, little three inch sections. And then I had to cut out little um, notches so that the two sides of the hinge can fit together. Anyway, it was a lot of work for one little hinge. So the next project was to figure out how I could kind of uh, industrialize it, you know, so I can manufacture hinges on a bigger scale pretty relatively quickly. Alex and Marie, who are engineers, were over here and they were helping me brainstorm ideas and we came up with uh, something that I hope will work. So tonight is another experiment. I made a mold and what the goal is is to be able to make you know maybe three or four sets of hinges in maybe two hours. Tonight we're just going to try and laminate some hinge stock in my mold. Let's see how it works. It's just going to be two layers of fiberglass. There's going to be one layer of 17 ounce uh, biax and one layer of this uh, six ounce cloth. The cloth is two inches, the biax is three inches. Ideally, the hinge will be about an inch, I don't know, an inch and a quarter wide. Each side of the hinge will be about an inch and a quarter wide. So I cut a little groove into the bottom of this mold. It's down right in the corner here. It's down about an eighth of an inch, eighth of an inch wide. And that's where the brass tube is supposed to fit into. This mold is all waxed up and everything. So the hardest part of this whole thing, and it was the really hard part when I was doing using the vacuum bag to do this, was making sure that the brass tube stayed in the very center and tight against the fiberglass. It was trying to float all over the place as I was folding the fiberglass over the brass tube. And the brass tube continues to want to float, and so I have to clamp it in place at both ends and even then, the center of it still like, wants to kind of squish out. And so, um, getting it in place is the hardest part of this whole project. It's mm. like a very brass brass tube. It is, it's so tiny. It, that's the hard part about this, is I'm using little tiny things. I realize this seems like it's crazy when I could just go buy a bunch of hinges um, and do it that way, but this is something I really like to do. This is one of the reasons I do a project, big project like this is I love to tinker and 
make things up as I kind of go along. I think it will be a very slick, what's the word? I don't know, solution. Kind of like solution. Now this is the other end of my mold. This is just a piece of aluminum. I've got it all waxed up and it is going to hold down and hold the tube in place, hopefully. So here we go. The trick will the, of this will be, hopefully it just will go quickly. I can make one in an hour. And so how, how long do you think we've been here? Maybe 20 minutes? Yeah. So it actually went very, it went faster than I thought it would. Hopefully the tube got pressed into the groove, which is something I don't, it feels like it did, but I'm not positive that it did. We'll see how it goes. This is, again, this is all an experiment we might end up buying a whole bunch of hinges. So, you never know. Hopefully this works. This has been in my mold press thing overnight, a bag around it with a heater in there to, keep, to make sure it cured nicely. So, see how it turned out. Ah. Good news? The the brass pipe is in the right place. Hmm. I think it looks okay. Really? <laughs> well, that's, that's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you weren't sure. It was a little suspenseful. Yeah. I wasn't sure. So you can see that's a side view and uh, it the lamination is pretty tight around the tube, which is perfect. I'm pretty happy with it. This is my little jig I'm using for cutting the notches in the hinge. And so I just put my knot, my hinge up here and line it up with the teeth. Oh, dang it, I misplaced my uh, clamp. You misplaced something, honey? Ha ha. You never misplace things. Anyway. Hinge goes here, line it up with the teeth.
It requires a little bit of cleaning up. So we're going to do some more painting this evening. We have stuff like bilges and cabinets that have to be painted and I don't want to do go through the prep of all the you know the primers and everything and so this bilge coat is really handy. It's a really tough enamel that's great for painting in the bilge where messes are made and we're going to paint it inside our cabinets. Uh, so our cabinets look nice uh, but they also have a really good hard coat of paint on them. Yanni has requested that we use gray and so there's either gray or white with this stuff. But uh, yeah, it's a really easy one part paint that uh, makes it look nice. So here we go. But I've already blamed it on you, so if people uh, give us a hard time, I'm sorry. Give us a hard time about the gray, you mean? Yeah. Is anyone going to give us a hard time about our choice of cabinet color? <laughs> <laughs> we dare you. It is kind of dark. It is. Was it darker than you thought it was going to be? Yeah. This stuff sure does cover well. No. It goes on easy. Alright. Pretty cool. One thing we have coming up is figuring out what to put on the countertop, like what material we should put on the countertop. If you guys have any ideas, we're all ears. So uh, I got these trimmed down and I'm going to do a kind of a, see how strong these things are. So we're going, I have this uh, door cut out of some MDF and I'm going to use VHB tape if this is a 3M product. I use it all the time, but it's a really, really strong tape. It's basically, it's an adhesive. I'm going to tape these to the door. And then I'm just going to tape it, uh, tape the other end of the hinge to the wall, and um, uh, hopefully the hinge break, or uh, hopefully the tape breaks before the hinge does, basically. So we'll see how it works. The moment of truth. Yeah. So we know that it hinges, and it will hold this little piece, which. That's what most of them will weigh of the doors, which is like, you know, a piece of foam basically. But will it hold a heavy door? Okay, ready?
Okay, back to work. Yeah. A little distracted there. Our viewers can't hear it, but La Paz is stomping around the outside of the boat. It's very loud. Here she comes. Now I finally get to in final like do my final install of these hinges, and so I'm going to epoxy them onto the doors. And I'm also really excited because I get to try out this new stuff that Total Boat sent me. It's called Thick So, but it's a fast cure thickened epoxy. It comes in the tube, and it will be extremely convenient uh, for doing, especially smaller projects. Uh, when I don't have to mix, you know, clear epoxy and then mix thickener into it. So this will be super handy, and it's fast cure. So again, if you want to support the project and you need to buy some epoxy, you can. Buy it through the link in the description below our video and it helps support the project and you get a little discount uh, when you buy through that link so check them out so anyway here we go we're going to just glue the hinges on the doors here and then i'm going to glue the other side of the hinges onto uh, the cabinet normally you would use a mixing wand with this stuff uh, but for these smaller projects I don't like to use the wand because you lose all the epoxy that's inside the wand and again it's just a little project so I'm not going to use like a whole wand for just these little hinges just so you know there's peel ply on top of this door that's why I'm mixing on the door so don't worry about it I'm messing up the finish on the door or anything like that but back. The inspector inspects. She's doing a full inspection right now. I'm not sure why. We didn't call her or ask her to. She's pretty busy. <laughs>
Do you think people are going to think you've gone crazy making your own hinges? I wonder the same thing. We have a couple of new Patreons to thank this week. Uh, first, thank you to Nathan. Uh, Nathan was in the Navy for many, many years and uh, now is in the Midwest and he does all his boating in the Midwest. He said that he sees boats come through that are doing the great uh, American loop and he's always wanted to do it himself. So he's planning on uh, fixing up or building his own sailboat that he can cruise down the Mississippi River with his wife and into the Caribbean and maybe beyond. So good luck, uh, Nathan. We're rooting for you and thank you again very much for your help. And also thank you to Mitch. Uh, Mitch is in Miami. He gets to do all the fun water sports that go along with being in Florida. And he's currently hunting for his own retirement sailboat that he can cruise between Florida and the Bahamas. So sounds pretty good. Thank you again very much, Mitch. And thank you again to everybody who's helping support the channel. We couldn't do this without you. And if you're looking to uh, join the community, you can find us at the Duracell Project on Patreon.com. So thanks again.